You have to be a spiritual warrior to sustain in your life, in the living of your everyday life, your deepest dreams, the depth of what's in your heart. You have to be a spiritual warrior or it won't happen. There's a larger order of things above us to which we rightly relate and offer our gifts and find ourselves in, uh, in the context of that higher order. And there's also that which is below us in the hierarchy that we're responsible to nourish, to feed, to guide, and make a place for. As we think of it scientifically, there's the system of the atom. The atom, atoms come together in all kinds of ways, but in our body as cells. So there's an atomic structure that's held within a cell structure or a biological structure which is held within a human structure and all of that is held within a, a global structure that's hold, held within a solar structure that's held within a galactic structure larger and larger patterns that's hierarchy and all of the structures at whatever level give of themselves naturally into the larger order or the larger structure that they're a part of and give freely apparently for the thriving of that larger structure. You're in that position, I'm in that position, everybody you know is in that position, we're all dealing with the same thing. Wherever you think you are in that picture, the question becomes, can you be yourself wherever you are. Can you acknowledge what's above you, whether it's a human being or, or, or a star? And can you see what's below you and be a responsible steward and leader for what's below you in the hierarchy? I believe that's the actual question. And have you healed all the human wounds around these things, all the human dysfunction in yourself, so that you as a human being are free. If you're free on these things, and I'm free on these things, then together we begin to create a social structure that is free. It's the most primal of things in our human experience. Caring for one another, caring for your children, caring for the planet, understanding, being able to see a, another person or a situation without judgment, but to really heal, to really see the whole thing all the way through, you do have to be a spiritual warrior. And then part of being a spiritual warrior is not settling for some kind of progressive truth, some kind of new age truth, some kind of half-truth, some kind of idea that's kind of half-baked but doesn't actually work. Being a spiritual warrior is to tackle the real issue at its core, to face the things you don't want to face, not allow yourself to think the, think the things that make you a little comfortable and happy and make everybody else wrong. And then find yourself to be irrelevant to the problems of the world in which we live. We're not looking to be just kind of comfortable and irrelevant here at Sunrise Ranch. I'm not looking for that in my life. I'm looking to create something that penetrates the, the fog of human understanding and therefore the dysfunction of human understanding and offers a true and a real answer so that we can truly become a teaching and demonstration site at Sunrise Ranch of the most important things in life. And it truly goes the other way. It's actually being a demonstration and teaching site because we have to demonstrate it. We have to know it. We have to do it as a spiritual warrior. We have to sustain it to be able to teach it with authority.